hi guys you all made the beautiful dion from eps model she will be my beautiful canvas for today and i'll be teaching you how to get the perfect flawless base on a caramel skin tone hi guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl lolan a lagos based youtuber and a makeup artist if you're new here thank you thank you for stopping by and to my previous subscribers i love you guys for sticking with me thank you for all the supporting and thank you for all the constant love you've been showing on this channel it really means so much to me i'm done prepping our skin i'll make sure to leave all the skin prep products in the description box below now I'll be going into my foundation using my NARS foundation in shade Macau and Mora to get a perfect skin shade. Just quickly, I'll be applying my lip balm from Vaseline. I love this lip balm so much. It hydrates and gives you the perfect moisture for your lips and, and that tint, that pink tint. You can see how plumpy and juicy and soft our lips looks. So this is the right balm for me. I love it so much. And then the foundation now into our skin, gently pushing the product into our skin to give her the perfect tone. And you can see the foundation matches perfectly with our skin and i'm going in with my contouring make sure to contour properly using the edge or the tip of your build sponge to apply your contour product and make sure you blend upwards while blending your contour lines I'll be taking my cream blush from this eye magic lip palette I love the colors I mix the pink and the red to get the perfect shade for my blush application so I'll just apply that onto the skin and gently tap with my beauty sponge pushing that into our skin I'll be using my Two Faced Concealer Bond this way in shade Golden Beige and the Blossom Makeup Concealer in 120 Caramel for highlighted areas. I like to spray in between my makeup step. So after the spray, I'll gently blend the concealer into our skin. Make sure you're very light-handed. So I'll blend all the highlighted areas and under eyes. I'll retain a bit of concealer under her eyes while I go in and do my nose contouring. I'm done blending the first layer of the concealer. I'll just leave the tiny bit in the inner corner while I do a nose contouring. So once I'm done with the nose contouring, I'll blend in the concealer with the nose contour. Make sure to blend the nose contour properly to avoid any ash lines. So I'll just blend out with the concealer underneath her eye. After blending the concealer underneath her eye, I go in with my Mirac setting powder in shade Ginger. And I use a tiny fluffy brush to distribute the product on uh, highlighted areas using a one layer coat each. Using this technique gives my under eyes a flawless finish. Then I use my beauty sponge to distribute the product to the rest of the highlighted areas. And I go in with my powder from V Beauty and apply gently, softly on her face and lock that in. And I take a little bit of powder and just use that to define the nose contour. You know, I did a cream contour before, so I use the powder to define the nose now. Then I go ahead and do my powder contour. Once I'm done with that, I go in using my blush from Blossom Makeup Shy Girl Blush Palette. And I take that color and apply gently on the cheeks. Make sure not to take too much product because it's very, very pigmented. Then I go ahead and use my spoolie to clean the brows thoroughly to make sure I'm able to use my tema to hold the strands without any dirt in the brows. The brow is dry now and our face is ready for the next step. 
Yo, can you see how perfect this flawless base glam looks? Thanks for watching. I hope you learned a tip or two.